Now I'm going to show you how to use your deep Nintendo DSi camera and portrait function on your Flip Note Studio. So, if you click this button, you'll be able to view any of your photos and that you saved on your your Nintendo DSi album, but not on your SD card album. And you'll be able to scroll through them. And then you can change how they look, like for example, like that, like that, like this. I'm going to click on solid. Then you can edit them once you click capture. You can save it to the frame. And you can also choose any color or layer. Like for example, if you decided to use the red, the red layer, you can choose to do it. A, a second photo in red or even make the one red and so you can r erase that and then you can put the red under it or you can make it blue or you can take that out and make this one red and then you can see it red there Then, you can edit it any way you want, and you can make it look like the Grim Reaper. Yep, because you can change the eraser size and well, it's kind of like dotted. Like that. And then you can move it all and the whole frame over by holding the L button and then sliding. That looks like a pretty creepy phantom sort of design. Now I'm going to show you how to use the music feature. So, the Nintendo DSi um, can record the sound using the microphone. And, yep, it senses the sound and everything. So, you can play the overall background for the music. Like, if you had, um, like a song on your computer that you liked. You could play and then hold the microphone up to your computer. And then you would be able to um, listen to it because it would record it. Plus you can import a sound or your music from um, Nintendo DSi Sound. And you can choose any one of your bubbles and choose to play it. Because if you, if you like recorded some second version of any music, then you play it here. Click import, and there you go. You can also create sounds that you can repeat multiple times throughout. For example, hello! And then you can start and then add the sound in. Since it's very short, there's not a whole lot you can do. And then if you can change the speed, it'll sound like this. Hello. Hello. 
since you already chose it at whatever speed. And then if you make the music like, if you play, if you have the music go through at speed one, hi, boom, boom, whoosh, and then you play it back in speed two. It will sound like this. But sounds aren't affected, so you can make it sound normal. Plus, you can just erase where it was placed and Hello. then replace it. Just play the sound or erase the sound entirely. Hello. Plus, if you make your music this long, dun 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 dun, and then add a sound, bloop 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 bloop. You can click this button, add it. Then mix it, and then it'll sound like this. And then you can erase the sound so you have storage for more sounds. And then you can add three more. Do 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 do. Import the sound, but only import like two seconds of it. the latest and most popular flip notes. <laughs> so choose any flip note you want. <laughs> and there you got yourself a flip note studio. You can save it. And whatever frame it's currently set to when you save it is um, what it will show when you go to it. And here's the overall thing. Watch on the top screen. There you have it. You can send it to your friends and choose to lock or not lock um, it, which means you can edit or not edit. Then you can go to view flip notes. Once you've got your internet connection going, your screen should look like this. Welcome to the Flipnote Hatena front page. So you can choose all flip notes, channel list, how to post, creator's room, or command search. Which means that each flip note has a special command of buttons, and if you know the command, you can search for it. You can also choose mail. Terms of use, or go back to Flipnote Studio. In order to, however, post your own Flipnotes, I believe you have to create an account with Hatena and then send them a form. All kinds of things like that. And here you can see all the frames. Add stars, add comments, and lots of other things. You can also view other the videos they recommended, check the command, blah blah blah. Then if you like, you could save it to your system memory, SD card or, or whatever you like. And if it's not locked, then you can Go back to your home. And see it. Anytime you like. Or click edit. And edit it in any way you want. Or have the music or anything. You'll see anything that they did. So thanks for watching the Flipnote Studio Guided Tour. I hope you enjoyed it.